<laughs> Pause for a little dance break. Ooh. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my backyard. Today I'm sharing with you a post-workout stretch. If you enjoy, please be sure to like and share. Let's get right into it. We'll begin in a comfortable seat, releasing your left ear over to your left shoulder. Float your left hand up and let it rest on the right side of your skull, all while breathing into your belly. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, release right ear over to right shoulder. Float your right hand up and let it rest on the left side of your skull. No tension in the jaw or brows. Inhale, arms reach incredibly high. Exhale, bend your right elbow. Use your left hand to pull your right elbow into center. For me, I like to let my head lean back onto right wrist, forearm, or elbow. Inhale, arms up, and with the exhale, bend your left elbow, patting yourself on the back. The belly is breathing. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeeze inner shoulder blades in and draw your hands over to the left side of your waist. Squeeze your left elbow in as opposed to letting it splay out and drop left ear over to left shoulder. And release the bind, take the opposite interlace and then bring the hands over to the right side of your waist. Drawing your inner right elbow in towards center line as you drop right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, arms up, look up, and exhale, release hands to the ground. Make your way into a tabletop and then transition into down dog. Pedal the heels once, twice, and then pulse your chest. Pedal the heels, pulse the chest. Pedal the heels and pulse your chest. Transition to dolphin pose, bring elbows and forearms to floor, and we'll do that same dance. Pedal the heels, pulse the chest. Pedal the heels, pulse the chest. Heels pedal, chest pulses. And drop down to the knees, make your way all the way to the ground onto the belly. We'll bend our right knee, reach your right hand back and catch the top of your right foot. You can do little pulses, stretching through your right knee, right quad, or you can flip your grip allowing your right fingertips to drape over the top of your right foot. To those of you that would like more, press your left hand into the ground, straighten your left arm, inviting more sensation through the right line of your leg. Take a breath in, and let a breath out. Release your right leg and let's switch to second side. Bend your left knee, reach your left hand back. You can find little pulses. You can flip your grip and option to press your right hand into the ground, straighten through your right elbow. And notice where there's tightness. Where is there resistance or pushback? And you're utilizing the warmth and the strength that you've created in the body to invite spaciousness and length. Slow release of your left foot, left leg. Join me upright on your feet. Double check, two fists in between your feet. The arms can hang heavy. You can catch opposite elbows. You can take hands to your hips or option to interlace your fingers and expand your chest. This will invite a greater rotation into your shoulders. You can invite a deep bend in the knees or a subtle bend in the knees. Just allow the hamstrings to open as your head stays heavy. And we will come back to this again. So take your time, be patient. Release and trace your fingertips to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, malasana. This is a low squat. Keep the weight in the pinky toe sides of your feet hands at your heart and lift in your chest. Again, we will repeat the same shape. So take your time with it this first go. Relax the jaw and steady the gaze. 
As we navigate through our standing forward bend a second time, option to take a bind behind your knees. Catch opposite wrists, forearms, or elbows, and you might slide the forearms down the back line of your calves. That will deepen the forward fold, allow the hamstrings to lengthen and the hips to inch higher. Make sure that you can still breathe comfortably. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, low squat. Drop your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee and place your right hand to the inner right thigh. We navigate through pulses, work towards straightening your right elbow. And switching it out, drop right shoulder inside of right knee, left hand, left inner thigh. Work towards length and space as you work into your pulses. Dynamically moving the body. With an inhale, come back to center. And exhale, forward fold. Step your right foot forward, feet about hips width distance. Place your left hand either on the ground or on your right foot. With your inhale, revolved triangle. Reach your right arm high and draw your right hip back. If you feel at all unsteady, especially if you're outside, look down at your left hand. And then release the twist, forward fold, nose to your right shin, dig your right heel into the ground and flex your right foot. Switch it out, left foot forward, right foot back. Get stable through your right hand. Inhale, left arm high as you draw your left hip back. Feel into all four corners of both feet. Steady your gaze. And with an exhale, you close off your chest. Release your forehead and nose towards your left shin as you flex your left foot. Breathe deeply. And wide leg forward fold. Angle both sets of toes inward. Allow your spine to go long, your head to go heavy. You can explore another bind with the hands. Expand your chest, hands to hips. Or just keep it mellow and relax your fingertips to the ground. Release hands to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come down to your knees. You'll love this one, a broken toe. Tuck all 10 toes under, release hips to your heels. Inhale, arms sweep up, look up. Exhale, thumbs to the sternum. We'll continue that. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, thumbs to sternum. Inhale, upward. Look up, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, high. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thumbs to heart. Last one, breathing in and breathing out. Let's come to a tabletop, rotate the ankles, point and flex. Inhale, cow pose, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. You can continue on for as long or as little as you'd like. And once you feel satisfied with your cat cow, make your way to your seat bound angle. Soles of feet together, wide knees, bow the torso forward with a flat spine. Use your hands to press the inner knees down. Avoid any pulsing or bouncing of the legs as that can put negative pressure on the sacrum. You want a static, smooth hold. And every time you exhale, option to deepen. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lift your chest, lift your arms, and with the exhale, release. And with that, we are done. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Stay hydrated, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you guys soon.